Um, yeah. Sorry, good morning. And what you saw me putting on there is um, conditioning treatment because um, I need some conditioning treatment on my. Wait a minute, where is all of my boxes gone? It's okay, they're under here, under the breakfast bar bit. Um, I moved them under there yesterday because I'm waiting on a date that the carpenter can come in like he's currently building or has built um, inside shell unit strong shells thing to go in there um, and yeah just waiting for confirmation of when he can come and pop them in so I thought I would move all this stuff around in anticipation of that because obviously when he gets here it's not just moving those boxes it will be move sofa and other bits as well but I thought I would do that one get it out of the way and I quite like them being under there they fit nice apart from the fact that I can't now get my knees underneath which is a bit annoying because I sit here to eat my dinner I sit here to do everything really I sit here more than I sit there I think what did I watch yesterday I watched a tv show called uh, soulmates which I think it's on Amazon Prime, either Prime or Netflix. Anyways, and um, I was watching it. It's a bit Black Mirror y, and it turns out that um, one of the writers has written a Black Mirror episode, so it stands to reason. And then I saw a familiar name on there, one of the producers, Mr. Matthew Bird, and I'm like, I know Matthew. So, because I worked on a TV show with him. Um, so it's like, oh, like I didn't even know that, that he was producer on it. And I like that's kind of cool. So, not like Matthew's watching right now, but well done, Matthew. I've quite enjoyed that one. Yay. I should message him and tell him, really. I'm sure he gets a lot of laughs. Mm. Non negotiables. It's okay, I've got another two weeks for it. Mm hmm. Right, plans for today are post, although there's not a lot because most of my orders yesterday, um, I'd actually wrapped up before the Hermes guy got here at like four o'clock. So most of them have gone already. I've got, I've done three large letters and one other parcel. And then I think I've got another four or five waiting to go. Um, yes, by the looks of it. And then a couple that are awaiting payment on, but you know, who knows? But yeah, so four definitely to pack up this morning. So that's cool. Um, and then I want to do my Saturday and Sunday auctions, maybe a couple of buy it nows. And yeah, and I'm expecting some stuff in the post and I hope some of it comes today because that will be quite cool because then I get to show you and I will show you some very special posts that I got in a second. Are you doing ironing mummy? Yeah. Right things going out this morning other than the stuff that I've already packed which I've completely forgotten what they are sorry um, but these are the other things going out um, some alpaca Mexico earrings with like inlay mother of pearl and stuff uh, went for eight pounds. These dangly clip on ones went for seven pounds nineteen. This leaf brooch went for six pounds, and then this uh, polished stone. I don't know what kind of stone. Um, <clears throat> necklace and bracelet set went for eleven ninety nine. So. Quiet days post, but that's okay. That's okay because I've got other stuff to do instead. Hooray! Right, thought I'd just show you a little bit of post and, and just you know flash my ring at you. <gasps> How rude! Um, lovely letter came from um Kat who bought a couple of things off me. She treated herself to some silver, and I'm loving that card. I think that's cool. Perfectly trashy. I'm very jealous of her having that tooth though. <laughs> And then we have got Lainey's calendar. So um, she, she has 
See, my dearest Lex, I love you way more than Susan. Love, Lainey. See, it's, it's true. It's true. And it's filled with absolutely beautiful. I showed this to my mum and she was like, wow, they're awesome pictures. I won't show you all of them. That's hilarious. Look at him. But they're really good pictures. You've got depth of field in there. You've got composition. You've managed to, I mean, look at the lighting on that. Like... I mean, it's beautiful, Lainey. Like, seriously. So, um, she's done this in aid of Mind. So, all proceeds go to the Mind charity. So, I will link Lainey's uh, channel below. Um, if you are not already sub to Lainey, you have to go and do that right away. Like, right now. Otherwise, like, you're not allowed to watch this anymore. Okay? Um, and then, you have to find a video about um, this calendar and they're 10 pounds each like i said um proceeds go to mind and so well worth it um because they're just fab just fab and by the by the time it's 2022 we'll be able to put things in these calendars yay as me and i are playing hide and seek as me's not very good at it are you bicket oh i found you i found you I really don't like them not being able to knees under here, but never mind. <sighs> right, I've drafted some listings that I'm going to do. So I'm listing that little locket and stuff. These are all auction things. Little coral locket, a single Lamborn's sleeve garter, and then um, a bunch of silvers for my Sunday night auction some filigree bits but filigree like as in scroll work filigree it's like a little tree of life and then a little like ball thing and then this which i thought was super cool so it's like backed on shell but like there's resin on top but see like cross sections um i know that's a bit gruesome in a way actually that kind of is isn't it but it's still cool and it's on a nice box chain too. So yeah, this thing, those things, and and also there's like a bit of quartz, like quartz carved angel thing there, and then a little like swirly thing, and an ank, and another swirly thing. All technical terms these, and a sparkly thing, technical terms. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of a cross between doing these and staring off into the distance and then hoping that the postman turns up with stuff. Because um, it's 10.30 in the morning and I don't want to have finished my work already. I want it to, you know, last a little bit longer. It sounds weird, doesn't it? But I just want post to come to distract me for a little bit. Stop in work for a coffee. Um, um, no, the, that, yeah, that luxury, one. Luxury chocolate. I'm not too keen on that caramel popcorn one. No. Mm. Perhaps you should put that on ice cream. Oh, that's a good idea. Not just a pretty face, eh, Mummy? <laughs> there you are. Do you want to wait, wait before you go outside? Huh? Had a card mm. in the post. Um, this is from um, uh, Ashley at Paper and Twine, and she makes gorgeous things. Look at that! Oh, gorgeous! I know. That's lovely. That lovely now, and it's all sparkly. Oh, really pretty, isn't clever. it? I know. She is clever. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. The nice note she sent it because she, um, because I. Huh? No, I was talking to them, not you. You go and eat your biscuit. Um, yeah, she said she's sorry to, to hear that I was feeling a bit down. Um, so she's, she's made this and, said, and it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And she's put sparkly bits in it because she's like, what girl doesn't love sparkly things? That's gorgeous. Thank you, Ashley. Where can you go? We're going to go. Yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. 
And speaking of sparkly things, because it's not like me to order stuff, is it? Um, so yes, this is another parcel from the jewellery company, or the jewellery channel, because I'm weak. But you know, what can I say? Uh, link below if anyone wants to buy through the link and if it's your first purchase then you get a tenner off I think. Okay, where the hell is it? Seriously? Where's the freaking ring? What on earth? Am I going mad? Nothing's dropped out. Right, seriously, I'm going mad. Like. in my pile of necklaces there. Oh. What on it? Oh no. Oh. For some reason, they've sent a test, right? With postage, you get, uh, if you sign up to their monthly thing, seven ninety nine. you get first month free. So I figure I'd do that. Save me paying on postage for the thing that's apparently coming at another time. Why didn't they just put it in with this? Because I ordered them at the same time. That's silly. I thought I was going to have to move them up then. Well, anyway, celebrate mum at the jewellery company. Manager specials. Right, washing machine's going. I've got no pretty thing to show you just yet. It'll probably come tomorrow. I'll show you another time. Mm. Just look at that one instead for now. <laughs> uh, bugger. Oh well. unfortunate angle <laughs> yes I've still got this stuff in my hair I will be washing it off tonight when I have a bath a bit later um yeah so I've been thinking for a little while about getting back into jewelry making and um specifically like silver stuff and I do get you know sometimes some scrap silver and things that I could melt down and stuff um but that takes a very certain skill to be able to do that and a lot of tools and things it's not just a matter of melting it down you've got to have like um proper silversmithery tools and you know hammering and you know all stuff like that but many years ago i tried out a substance called precious metal precious metal clay which is um clay with fine silver in it and you can mold it like clay and then you burn off the clay and then you're left with a silver item and so I've used that before but when I first used it I didn't I didn't have much money and I couldn't afford to keep buying stuff and practicing and things like that um and I didn't have many tools and things but I can sort of save up for it now and I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, that is like a little hobby stroke, you know, another sideline maybe if I'm any good at it. Um, 
but yeah, I'm kind of excited about the idea. I'm on a website now called Cooks and Gold and I'm having a look at stuff and been adding things to Fantasy Basket. So I'll show you now. So this is um, a kiln that I'm looking at getting. Now I've used one of these before when I used to do enameling and stuff. So it's not completely, you know, uh, new to me and things. But yeah, you, so you can use this um, with art clay, enameling glass fusing and ceramics, which is quite good. So that's something I fancy getting. And I've already got some design ideas in mind because let's have a look at basket. Come on. Come on. Oh, blooming internet. Being a bit slow. There we go. So, um, yeah, so they sell the gems as well, which is cool. So some cubic zirconia and Swarovski hearts and stuff. Um, they've got a good toolkit here. There's a lot more in the toolkit than what they show there in the kiln and a load of art clay. As you can see, it's an expensive hobby, but uh, I don't care right now. Um, that's kind of, yeah. I sort of like the idea of, of of getting into this, the art clay silver. And I've been watching tutorials and things on it and, and yeah, I fancy doing this. Um yeah, I'm I'm gonna have a go. Not not just yet. I've got to save up for it first, but yeah, I think that would be quite cool. Um let me know if you like have used this stuff before and, and what projects you've made and things, but yeah fancy that right um i've had a parcel and um this was attached to the front of it and um, so there you go hello lex after watching with um with carla and um, starting to watch you you're great oh thank you um, what you do keep it up Raquel, keep up the good work um you do here's a box of something for you if you can open on sundays carla has another box Ooh, and um, be nice to see you both open them together Hope your mum and two baby, um, my little kitty cats, um, keep well and safe. Kind regards, Ben. So that's from Bargains Mad Ben, and I've got to open that mystery box on Sunday. Ha, another thing that I got is some cake. So I'm going to have one of these now. And that's from this place, and I've already tried these. And um, This is a Bakewell slice, and they're really bloody lovely. So check them out, and then there's your code. Okay? Cool. This is, um, oh, look at that lovely ring. Um, we care a lot. Um, has Rosamund Pike in it and, and lots of other cool people. Um, it started off well and now it's gone like odd. It's gone in a way that I, I don't know. Didn't think it was gonna go when I first saw the trailers. It's got terrible reviews on um, IMDb. And it is ridiculous, but I'm almost enjoying it. So, hmm, okay. Friday night is takeaway night. Friday night. It's got Nando's. Nando's. You like Nando's, don't you? Right. I've been a bit naughty and I've ordered myself some sweet potato wedges as well this Why time. Not? And we got some halloumi. Here's your wedges. Mm -hmm. Broccoli, because I like broccoli. That's my chicken. And that's your chicken. Mm -hmm. And coleslaw. You got that before? Yeah. And there's all extra sauces and stuff. Good job we don't charge for the sauces. They give us this garlic pyrenees, but not a fan of that. Do you want chili jam? Oh yeah. There you go, chili jam. So yay, go chicken. Oh, and this is my dinner. Every week I I don't get the um, sweet potato wedges. I get like two broccolis, but um, yeah, I fancied having them this week. Why not, lush? Right, sunny evening and I am going to, there's me in the window. I'm gonna run myself a bath now. This is this is my this is my little shop. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird, but I had not quite a clear out, but I got all of the things that I haven't yet opened, and I've put them on here. And then when I feel like oh I want something new, I can like come to this and go 
Oh, there you go. There's something new. As a form of retail therapy without the retail, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to pick out some things. So I'm going to have my CBD Sense Miller. Um, this is a bath bomb, which is dead cool. So I've got a bath bomb. And then things I'm going to do afterwards, I'm going to have... Um, there we go, a flamingo sheet mask, and I do need a face scrub, so that's a mud mask, what's that, um, is that a sea sand scrub, yeah, that sounds okay, doesn't it, so I'll be using them, yay, and this it's in my bath um, it smells really nice, have a sniff, mmm, yum yum, right, so that's me for the evening, okay, and until next time, uh, bye bye now, bye bye.